Okay, so now we're looking at algebra fractions, um, which is just a fraction, only it's got letters in it. So the same rules always apply, and we just need to think about those things we've recapped about adding like terms and when to times and multiply powers, etc. So I notice here my first problem is a over 3 plus a over 3. The bases are the same as a fraction, so I can just add those directly together. Keep in mind your invisible ones. 1a plus 1a equals 2a on top, and the bottom stays the same. Exact same problem as if I had 1 third plus 1 third would just be 2 thirds. Number two, here I see my bottoms are no longer the same. I don't have a common denominator, so I need to fix that. Something they both have in common could be 15, so I'm going to times this side by 3 to the top and 3 to the bottom, because 3 times 5 will get me 15. And that gets me 3 times 2 on top is 6a, minus timesing this side by 5 to get to 15. 3 times 5 on the bottom is 15. 5 times a on top is 5a. So I get 1a over 15, which you can also just write as a over 15, because the 1 can't always be invisible. Dividing fractions, remember the same rules apply for us, so we need to flip the second one over and times, so that becomes m over 4 times 3 over 1. m times 3, just timesing the numbers, and think if you want to, you can put an invisible 1 in front of the m. 1 times 3 is 3, the m comes along with it, and 4 times 1 on the bottom is just 4. In the next problem here, we're timesing fractions, and remember when you're timesing fractions, you just time straight across the top, straight across the bottom. Do the bottom first, because that's easy. 7 times 2 is 14. And on the top, we're timesing terms here that have powers, so think about doing the coefficient first. 3 times 5 is 15. And x times x becomes x squared. Where you've got an x times an x will become x squared. In the next example, these ones get a bit trickier, and this is where I want you to think about invisible brackets, which are really important. So I'm going to put brackets onto these problems that were not already there, and I'll explain why. When you see numbers, more than one thing on the top of a fraction bar, you need to assume that all that goes into brackets, it's all together. That's m plus 3, all divided by 4. So if you put brackets on top, it'll help you get things right. Same on the other side, everything on top of that fraction gets brackets. And I didn't do it on the earlier num problems because I just had one thing on top, like an m or a 3x, just one term. But here, because of my plus or minus on top, I do that. I notice I don't have a common denominator, but I know that I can turn a 2 into a 4 if I times this side by 2 on top and 2 on bottom. So I'll leave the first part of this problem the same, 3m over 4, still in brackets, plus, and now I need to think about expanding brackets. I'm trying to times everything on top by 2. So I need to times everything on top and everything on bottom. So everything on top, 2 times 3 becomes 6m, and 2 times minus 1 becomes minus 2, and that's all over 4. And at this point, because there's a plus sign here, we can probably ignore the brackets and not worry about it. We know that the bottom is going to stay the same at 4, that's why we made it common. So let's think about adding up those terms. Again, you can ignore the brackets now if you want. So think about adding up the tops, just like you would if you had like 4 plus 6, and those were both over 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. So here I've got 1m plus 6m's, and it gives me 7m's, and I've got a 3 plus 2 and a minus 2, that gives me plus 1. And you'll notice I'm adding like terms here, I'm adding the m's together, and then I'm adding the individual numbers together as well, only combining the like terms. So my answer there is 7m plus 1. Another example where this can get tricky for us is here. Bottoms are not the same, I need to make them the same. I know that I can turn a 6 into a 12 and a 4 into a 12, so I'm going to go times by 2 on this side, and times by 3 on this side. 2 times a becomes 2a over 12, minus on the bottom, I know I'm going to get 12, and think again, you got to expand that out. 3 times both of those things, that becomes 3a minus 6, and I'll put the brackets back on. Now watch out for this, we've got a negative here, but like we showed in the expanding negatives video, or expanding out brackets, we can assume there's a negative 1 there, and we've got to expand that through as well. So I'm going to circle that negative and tell myself I have to expand it through to both of those, otherwise I'll get it wrong. 
So I've got 2a over 12. Expanding that through, I'm going to have minus 3a. A negative times a negative becomes plus 6. And all of that, if you want to say, all of that is now over 12 because it has the common denominator. So looking for like terms, 2a minus 3a becomes negative 1a. And I just have the plus 6 left over, all over 12. And that's your final answer there. You can't reduce it any further. So again, if you see a negative in front of the brackets, make sure you go through the step of expanding that through as well. You'll notice it changes the signs, but without doing that you get the problem wrong. So that's why it's important to put the brackets to remind yourself of that.